Hey YouTubers! How's it going? Yes, you read the title right. And it did say Depot, Alice Through the Looking Glass. And I know right about now you're like, Bitch, what the hell? Have you gone mad? And the answer would be yes. But that happened many years before this palette. I did. I depotted the palette. I just felt like I, you know, since I've gotten this palette, I have felt like it just isn't functional. I wanted it. I love the colors, but it just, you know, it was hard to reach for. If I wanted a color that was in the back, I'd have to, you know, pull it all the way out. I have dropped it several times because I'm clumsy. I don't have a lot of workspace to when I'm doing my makeup. So I just really felt like it just wasn't very functional. And I mean, it is a pretty box. So, I mean, I've been just racking my brain back and forth. Like, what can I do? What can I do? And so it came to me last night. I was like, why don't you just make a little keepsake box out of it? So that's what I did. And it's still a little bit wet but if you can see that I basically made it into a little keepsake box so I was super pleasantly surprised that they are all magnetic well they're metal so they will go right into another Z palette and I'm still trying to work around what where I want to put them but I just knew that I'm going to be going on vacations and stuff this summer and I just wanted to be able to reach for these and not have to bring the whole box and now all of the shadows are ready for a new home so unfortunately I don't have any video of it well I took a small video but um, for the most part again I started at like 11 o'clock at night last night because you know I had a dream so I started doing it and then I thought to myself well hey I bet you there's probably somebody out there who has the same thoughts that I did and you know would want to possibly repurpose their palette and have their shades at their disposal so I did take some pictures and I am going to go over everything that I did and so if you're interested just hang on tight and we'll get into it okay so the first couple things that you're going to need is an exacto knife you will need some sort of flat uh, pokey tool. I used our kitchen knives because these are very strong and uh, they're very flat so they were really easy to get in underneath the shadows and pull them out because I will tell you that was probably the hardest part out of this whole thing was getting the glue off of the back of the shadows. The glue that they used was very tough. So the next couple things that you will need is some Mod Podge. You could use uh, glue or something like that just depending on how you want to use it. I actually put magnets on the bottom of it so I can repurpose it for either if I want to put some small jewelry in here or if I want to put some colors or something that I have depotted or maybe some foundations that I'm not using at the time and I could just put stuff in here that I'm just not using all the time. So with the Mod Podge I got matte and I got the gloss and I had these on hand actually because again it was like 11 o'clock at night. Next couple things are kind of optional. You can also get maybe felt or something if you just wanted to put it at the bottom. I do have a little bit of video that shows that at the bottom of it it does have like a thick of uh, what do you call it um, padding so like a foam is at the bottom of it so you could just use that or you know like I said you could put some felt or something on it in case you do want to store jewelry but again I chose to use magnets so you can just get these thin sheets or they also sell it in these strips like this and then I also to just line the bottom I got some craft paper the thin kind because I didn't want it to be too bulky so I still had room because it isn't very deep okay so now that you've got all your tools the first thing that I did was I kind of went where the brush goes right here well that's where it was and then what I did was and again you'll probably need something straight like this uh, well you will and so what I did was I just kind of lined it from where the brush hole was and then I went all the way up to about right where it ended on the shadows up top and then I just scored a line that way and then you know did the same thing on the other side and then I did a big score and then I started peeling and I'm going to insert a picture here of how it looked when 
I had started and that was about the point where I was like okay somebody else may want to do this so you can see I just lifted it up uh, the shadow name part so if you do have this palette and you take out your brush you will notice that all it is is cardboard that the kind that you can peel it'll just keep peeling away so what I did next was I just started peeling carefully peeling the top off because I did want to save the shadow color part and so again I just peeled and peeled until I got to the shadows and then here's a picture of how the shadows look they'll start to kind of get raised and then about that point I was able to get my knife and then start pushing underneath it and then here is a picture of how it looked when shoving my knife underneath it and I just slowly worked it up because again that glue is very thick and then as I was taking them out I had already already removed the color parts so what I did was I set the um this design right here that has the colors on it i can't think of what you would call it these boxes so anyways i set those down inside of the lid of a box and again here's a picture of it and then as i was taking out the shadows i just set them in the box so that you i knew what colors they were and what needed to go where so i could just keep them in order so later on i'm gonna organize it and put labels on the back of the colors so I know what they are. So you are going to want your uh, ruler or whatever you use for a little while because when you are going along here as you might be able to see here on the side I kind of went a little off and I just colored it with a marker in black but you do want to have something for the at least the first couple layers that can guide you so that you can keep just going down. I just kept scoring lines and scoring lines and then just pulling up layer after layer. And then right here, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a video of, this was the only video I took and it was kind of hard because I only had one hand to do. <laughs> I was trying to work with one hand and film with the other. So this shows me just kind of peeling and you can see the foam piece at the bottom here and so again you just see it's just a lot of peeling it's very actually tedious just trying to keep the sides straight and make sure as you start to get to the bottom of it that you don't press too hard because you do not want to go through that foam piece that is down here because you will go through the back i did start to feel my exacto knife start to go through so um not all the way through but i just started to feel it going pretty deep and so i just wanted to make sure that people were aware that this is just foam so you can puncture through the back so i decided that i wanted to keep the cool little box symbol name thingy whatever you want to call that i decided i wanted to keep that so here's a picture of what i did i just slowly and I mean slowly just peeled it away from the cardboard because it is a thin piece of kind of craft paper and so I just slowly peeled it and I did actually rip it in a few spots you can see right here but that's okay I still like the way it turned out it's an option if you wanted to use this piece but I did want to make it very flat so that's why I just peeled it away from the cardboard as much as I could and so the next thing that I did was I got my pieces of scrap paper or craft paper and I just started lining them I kind of cut it to line the bottom I also decided as I was going along and doing this that I wanted to make it magnetic as well already had these which are the sheets of the magnets and they do have the sticky on back and i also had to use a little bit of this which is a little bit thicker so that's why there's a little bit of a gap in here but it was what i had on hand and by this point it was like 2 a.m <laughs> so i just went ahead with this and what I did was I cut that and then put them at the bottom with the sticky, you know, just made sure that they were in there how I wanted. And I got my Mod Podge in the matte 
and I just painted down on the bottom. I also painted on the sides and I also did use a marker and just kind of make that black because it does, If I don't know if you could see in here, but it looks like the regular cardboard color and as you saw in the little film. And then I just got a big marker, a black marker, and I marked all along here and just tried to press it in as good as I could, you know, to make it. It's a little rough, but you know, for <laughs> For 2 a.m. it's pretty decent I think and then I went ahead and put the Mod Podge all around on the sides all around the bottom and then I put my paper on top of it and then I went with another layer of the Mod Podge in the mat over that so that ooh, I just rhymed and then I just made sure that those were nice and flat remember when you're working with Mod Podge it does have a tendency to bubble up so you just got to kind of keep going over it and over it to make sure that there's no air bubbles and then I let that dry and then this morning when I woke up it was fairly dry it is still a little bit tacky and then I went over with my gloss Mod Podge and you don't necessarily have to use the Mod Podge or any of the coloring. Like I said, you could just make it a regular box, maybe color inside. So there's lots of little ideas that you could do for that. But again, so now I have a more functional palette for myself that I don't have to worry about ruining it if I want to take it on a trip and now I can you know either store some of the colors from this palette that I don't use inside or I could take them all and so now I'm able to take these on the road with me so I hope that you found this helpful if you have any questions please let me know I hope that whatever you're doing is full of laughs and cheers and remember don't quit your daydreams look I didn't <laughs> Have a good one, and I'll talk to you next time, and peace. On vacations and stuff this summer, and I just wanted to be able to reach for these and not have to bring a whole box, and so now I can. So if you have... So I was super presently... Pleasant, presently. So if you're interested in doing something like this with your palette, too, I will be happy to let you know how I did, and how I did it, and we can go ahead and get... Work because it is a thin piece of kind of crap, craft, crap, <laughs> craft paper, and... And then also while I was, actually before that, I was typing, I, <laughs> I also had decided that I wanted to make it a versatile box, so I cut pieces of, um, what is this called? So after I stuck the magnets in to the bottom with the sticky, obviously, you know, um, did anybody address my crazy hatter hair today? Yes, I know, I got the hatter thing going on.